my brother Red Pill coined this. AI is the BBL for non-intellectuals. That's funny. right. But true. There's a lot of people who not really smart, but you're not gonna know they're not smart. That's right? Point. Like, so let me ask you all this question. Would you get the chip in your head if it made you smart? No, I've seen Limitless. And how would you get the chip? Rashad, Rashad Troy? I, I believe we had this conversation and I said I, I wouldn't do it just because of uh, the process of that chip actually malfunctioning. I think that's what we left off on the conversation. Yeah, no, I wouldn't take the chip. The limitless, that's when he he actually took the pill in limitless. Yeah, it was a pill. This will be the pill. The pill's interesting. But the chip is too far. Chip's too so far. how many people you think would say that same response? Like, and, and here's the thing. We 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 come from a generation before the internet. So mm -hmm. this this to me is like the last generation to think for themselves. Right. Because technology will be in such a place you will never have to think for yourself again. Mm -hmm. Right. You won't have to figure out anything by yourself. If, and, and I'll contest it like this. Everything is artificial now. Right. Artificial foods, artificial insemination, artificial lashes, artificial lips, fillings, breasts, bodies. Too much on the ladies. You know, Hold on. No, hold on, fellas. Listen, I just seen that there is a quiet industry of fellas the getting surgery. Kevin ran it up. Well, a quiet industry. <laughs> yeah, so there's a fake six packs, things of that nature. Like when you think, like human beings do drugs. You know, human beings do crack. They do heroin. They do meth. They do X pills. So taking a chip and putting it inside themselves is not a far fetched idea at all. Yeah. Especially if this is the first um, thing that people will be taking as an enhancement. Because you remember, the future is going to be smart wars. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, if the war between countries is who has, and it's always been that way. It's always been about the brain trust of that country, right? So the smartest countries, America was able to attract the best talent all across the world. And it can offer them a better life and send money back right home. America can't do that anymore. Right. People are tired of the dependence on America. But the brain trust of these different countries is what make them supreme. Right. And so now it's going to get to a point where I believe, you know, in the future, it's going to be about the fight of people who is the smartest, who's the most intelligent, because people got these chips and you in a conversation with them and they're running laps around you or their businesses. And you see the people with the chips in them and they all of a sudden they doing millions of dollars. You. It's gonna make you rethink. Like, no, I it's, 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 kind of, it's similar to Adderall, right? Yeah. Like, if you if you um, there's there's plenty of people that take Adderall and different types of things that need to to enhance their learning ability. Yeah. Right. Like, this I, is I, heard, I, I had somebody, I had somebody tell me that before that you every genius sniffs cocaine or wow. it's LSD, <laughs> mushroom. These are different things that people. I'm not one of those cocaine. geniuses. Huh? I'm not one of those Whoever geniuses. Told you that, they probably definitely did cocaine. Absolutely. <laughs> they, they probably did. They probably did, perhaps. But there no, are but a lot of there are a lot of successful people that sniff cocaine. And yeah, cocaine. I don't want to go heavy on the on the on the cocaine conversation, but you know, it's it's one of those drugs that I remember when I was working with people, they did cocaine, and it's the it's a functioning drug because it doesn't make you addicted. But it's definitely a, it's a functional drug. It's not you can be an occasional um, coke sniffer, right? And, and, and speaking on that, though, so we're not endorsing this for the record. No, this is no, we're not endorsing this. Play activity where Sean says this. the way he built Earn Your Leisure was through cocaine. <laughs> but so I will get you tickets to as, as, as we go deeper <laughs> in technology, the mushroom and the psychedelic industry is going to continue to boom. Right. Yes. And grow exponentially. Right. Because people are going like we're going into the instead of viral moments, we're going into viral experiences with AI. Right. Customizing different what they call second experiences, second rate experiences with AI, because everything is going to be customized. Movies yeah. will be customized. Everybody thing will be customized. So when you create a great experience, you can now sell that experience to someone else. Right. And, and so. And, but and, 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 and that's. And and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're not endorsing drugs. No, 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 no. 
no, this I'm talking about technology. The, no, I'm the saying the, I'm, like, I'm not endorsing. I'm not endorsing any drug. I'm just saying that people have used people have used substances to help enhance their brain power. Yeah. Whether that, whether that's just Steve like Jobs. Whether that's psychologically, they think that, or but it's it's been proven that a lot of intelligent people have done this. And like I said, you go to any medical college, whatever, like they're taking Adderall because they got to study all night, they got to stay up, they pass tests. So what I'm saying is that, it, like you said, if, if you're willing to do that, you probably are willing to put a, brand, a chip in your. And if it's right. a bag attached to it, ninety percent of people will do it. To answer your question, ninety yeah. percent. If you, if I told you. You can make one point five million to four million dollars a year. Ninety percent of people will do it. That's what I'm saying. And and then look at Silicon Valley. Like ninety percent of people microdose on mushrooms daily over there and do LSD. And Joe it's Rogan been that way. Her award in the crackheads and nobody said nothing. Drugs and technology have been related since you know the '60s doing LSD and coming up with all of these wild ideas. Right. That's it's all like LSD has always been like a scientist drug. And this is this was published back in the '60s. Everybody knew this, right? But now it went to party drugs, right? Instead than thinking experiences in drugs. So now we had a different phase. But social media is a drug. Sugar is a drug. Caffeine is a drug, right? So you know we are the highest generation ever because every single day we on drugs. We just have different forms. When they made technology become desirable and emotionally connected, it became a drug. It gives you a dopamine hit, right? And so it, we are already high and people don't like normal experiences anymore. So that's going to heighten and get worse. I came up with New America, you know, back in 2019 when I talked about mobilization, automation, digitization versus stress, anxiety, depression, suicide. As technology increases, our emotional dependency increases. So our emotional re resilience and e intelligence decreases because we don't know how to handle those things for ourselves. So we look for, you know, faux connections through social media, right? And through buying things or getting a new body, right? So it's all of these artificial emotional connections that we have. And so this is why you see a correlation between drug use and technology and things of that nature. And so I only brought that out to say that there's going to be correlations as AI continues to evolve. Right. And so to hedge against that is to kind of think about why would I then start taking these different things and, and think about why would people start taking the chips? Because it's easy to say I won't do now. Right. Yeah. But I haven't seen a technology that came in and that made people money or a drug that came and claimed to make people money or an enhancement. And people go say, no, why? Society don't have no morals to stand on. Exactly. Especially when we're losing the race internationally as well. So let's do this. Like, yes, this is a high level conversation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>